So quickly brief me about your background, academic background and how come NCA CET preparation came into the picture. Uh, I did my bachelor's in computer science from Mumbai University and okay. I graduated in 2020 amidst COVID. And mm. after that, I went on to do post-graduation diploma in business management. But okay. over there, after first year, I realized that I'm not kind of into that and I want to uh, uh, change my path and just go into software engineering. So MCA was the only part to that. So that's when I decided in the last year of my post-graduation diploma. So it was a big, it was a bit hectic uh, at that time because the other college was going on and I was preparing for MCA as well, CET as well. Okay. So in which, uh, when you get into the college, so specialization will be software engineering, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Out of these four sections, when it's, and when it's come to the CET preparation, like lo uh, logic is there, English is there, math is there, and computer is there. Yes. Which section was your toughest section and which section was your easy section and how you have managed? Uh, maths was the toughest section, uh, not because of its difficulty, but because of the vast syllabus. Uh -huh. And the easiest one would have been the logic section. Okay. And English was a bit moderate and computer was a computer awareness was also a bit moderate, but maths was like an elephant in the room for me. <laughs> all time. It is all time for everyone and every year. Yes. So the advanced maths version, which is there in your uh, syllabus, how you have yes. managed to do that? When I, I actually when I say advanced maths, so like uh, progression is there, logarithm there, uh, coordinate geometry is there, set yes. theory, function is there, statistics there. Yeah. Uh, I actually started doing these early on because the advanced maths was a bit easier for me rather than going for something like calculus and trigonometry, uh -huh. uh, especially when it comes to set theory and mensuration. Uh, mm -hmm. Once you get a bit, once you get the hang of the formula, it becomes uh, and it's become easy to just see the question and answer it right away. So I just left the complex mathematics, trigonometry and calculus. And I just focused on the advanced mathematics, like probability, set theory, mensuration, coordinate geometry, these four topics. Okay. And speed distance problem, speed distance and speed time. Problem. Arithmetic part. Yes. It? When it's come to the logic, then yeah, arrangement part, puzzle part, always uh, being a problem yes. for everyone. So Especially the circular it? arrangement that circular. gave okay. me a lot of uh, headache, but uh, I managed to do it. It was a bit time consuming for me, but I pulled it off. Okay. So, uh, as you mentioned, you have started your late preparation. So yes. what is, according to you, what is, what do you think is the right time to start preparation? At least six months prior to the exam day, because for me, it was a do or die situation. Uh, uh -huh. So I had to pull it off. But if, uh, I want to advise somebody else who wants to get into MCA, I would say at least start six months prior to the exam mm -hmm. date, mm -hmm. preferably one year before, but at least six months should be considered appropriate because you have to finish the syllabus the yes syllabus is very vast yes and uh, computer section idly is a problem for everyone so yes since you have you, i mean you are from the same background computer science yes yes so was it problem for you and what how was how was this the programming section was a bit problematic for me because i had left uh, the core programming a year before uh, but other than that uh, it was pretty much doable Okay. And uh, when it's come to the examination, uh, yeah. share me your experience when you, I mean, when you left uh, for the examination hall, how was the experience and all? You uh, were panicked I, on the exam day? <laughs> uh, actually, I wasn't panicked. Uh, I mean, there was a bit of anxiety, but it was okay because I had given mock test before. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would recommend everybody to give mock test because it actually helps you to pacify that nervousness. Correct. Uh, other than that, uh, the exam was pretty okay. I would say I came out satisfied. Okay. What was your center? Uh, my center was uh, Vadala. Okay. Okay. And uh, what was your order of attempt in the examination? Which section uh, you, you had attempted first and which section in the last? I attempted logic section the first because I was uh, the most confident in the logic section. After okay. that, I attempted the computer awareness, then English. And at the end, I went to uh, the mathematical section. Okay. 
and mock taking like uh, exam in in the mock test also was there any strategy like round wise i will attempt the paper like mass i will give round one for the easy round two moderate round two difficult likewise was there any strategy yes yes uh, same thing uh, i followed the mock strategy first do with the logic section and then go off to the computer awareness then english and then i will go off to the math section okay okay because i started my preparation uh, uh, around mid january and so i didn't had much time uh, it was less than 2 months so mm. i had to skip a lot of mathematics uh, okay. but uh, i actually watched one of your videos before uh, you gave a 2 month plan for it and i actually followed that plan and in that plan you said it just drop the mathematics for now and focus on computer awareness english read newspapers i actually read newspapers for 45 days Okay. and just try to do your best in the logical section so okay. that was my game plan just get marks wherever you can <laughs> obviously so uh, those who are upcoming year aspirant what tips or session you want to give them uh, i would like to uh, advise them to start early at least 6 month don't do it like me uh, and uh, be consistent and please give mocks because mocks help you a lot mocks actually are the one thing that helped me a lot uh, so that is three things that i can recommend them right so mock you should write those who are watching this podcast and want to end up with the vjt or spit want to end up with the 99 plus percentile start your preparation i suggest one year prior would be better right yes. so that you yes. have much, uh, plenty of time to do the mistakes and to improve that yes second obviously mock test and uh, mock test after once you write the mock test you will get to know the template you will get to know the scroll, scroll, how to scroll down next button how to you know you are because solving question in uh, from the book and solving question when you are on the computer it is different altogether so all yes. this thing uh, you have to uh, practice before you go for the examination and your time management again because in mcc there are 100 question 90 minutes you have to finish the paper and the maths ka koi bhi question uthalo it will take up at least 1 minute ka time so yes. you have to work on your time management also anything else pratham you want to add um i'll just say that just don't start late just start as early as you can just don't do it like me uh because i'm not discouraging anyone but it's better not to take such stress and burden at least 6 month prior anybody can make mistakes and still can come up really good just don't put yourself uh, willingly into do or die situation right correct so that's all guys in this podcast such kind of a podcast will keep and keep on coming up do watch all these podcast and improve uh, and implement the same thing in your preparation if you want to score like them and in plus percentile and the uh, pratimesh to you also congratulations once again thank thanks sir and thank you for coming and sharing your experience all yes, the best thanks. for your career yeah thanks, thanks.